Here we go again with episode number three of our pro cyclist series. Our sprinter has finally got another flat stage where he may be able to get a good result here. We're not on the favorites list here, even though I can see that most of these guys have like 72 and 73. Also, since last time I leveled up, so I'm now up to a 72 sprint, improving my hill up to 60, flat a tiny bit as well. Just general improvements all around, but 72 sprint means I'm pretty close to most of these favorites here who have 72 best guy pull in here 74 sprint so it's about finding the right wheel maybe i'll even get some help from my teammates but for now let's get into the stage and hope we can might be able to take our first victory here okay last 17 kilometers now this is where we can start creating and finding the wheel for our rider to sit on i think Paulini has 74 sprint here i think it's paulini i don't know exactly who the rider is but uh, 74 sprints was, if I remember correctly, the the biggest number I saw from before the race. So I'll find myself on his wheel here. I don't think who's the favorite here. He is actually the favorite as well, according to this list here. He wasn't the favorite according to the list before the race. But hopefully he is in a good position when the sprint actually starts. I'm a bit worried about him getting caught behind. I got caught behind somebody there, it's, it seems at least. Two point four. It goes so fast. I, 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 I don't know. But I'm starting to sprint here, and let's see what we can make happen here. I got the boost out of the gate here, but let's see. They start the sprint really late. All of the other riders here. Uh, can I block him in? I blocked him in. I don't care at all because this victory is my first victory in the race. Maldonado from uh, I don't know what team it is, but sorry to you. Uh, so I plugged him in, gives me access now to Category 2 races. I know there's only one Category 2 race in the entire calendar I can actually race in, and that is the Tour of Denmark all the way in August. So I had plenty of time, I just wanted to get my first win pretty early on. It's nice to have it out of the way, now you can just see me move over to the right. Completely stopped that other guy. Eh. I started I started much further back than him anyway, so I deserved it. I, I think I can say that. But I don't get it. The sprint is so messed up in this game. They have to do something about it because it's so bad at the moment. But a nice stage win for Team Trevor here. Probably our first victory here. Gets us up to half a level here now. So almost level 10. Access all of these races for next season now. Okay, so we're at the next race now. It's Stefan Zwolle from Rotterdam to Utrecht. In the Netherlands this time. It's another flat sprint stage. Favorites are pretty similar to last time. Same kind of level of race. Not the best riders here. You can see it here. Uh, 74, some few, two riders with 75. I don't know why they're not sold by just the sprinter because this is a flat stage. But uh, they have changed something in this game that I haven't really, I don't really know what it is yet, but it's weird. I don't know, I'm not on the list either, even though I'm by far a better chance of winning this stage than Peter Wiening and Johnny Hogerland has, but it's just because they're better average riders, I'll, I'll imagine. I don't get it. But let's get into the race and hopefully can make it two wins in a row. Okay, so we're in the race now. This is actually 28 clumps to go. I started a bit earlier because it's first time I'm really noticing wind in this year's uh, Pro Cycling 2016. First time I'm no I'm having a race where wind is actually a factor. You can see it's really stretched out, and even though it's still a long time to go, pulses are high for every rider because of the wind right here. The pulse is slow now, or the pace is slow now, or not, the, not as much wind right now. Uh, at least we're going the right direction, so I'm trying to move forward now, so I don't get stuck behind if the Peloton breaks in two somewhere, or if the front group breaks off. You can already see about 20. 530 rides have already fallen off here. Hopefully I won't join them at some point. I'm trying to go on Van Thomas wheel here from, uh, I don't know what that team is, the Drompot, Team Region. I don't know what region that is, but at least that's the way I'm focusing on right now. Uh, hoping I can do the same as last time, be in a horrible place position at three clumps to go and somehow nobody else but me sprints. So I can just overtake them all when I start sprinting. So I think I'm on Phantom's wheel now. Now it's just up to myself. My teammate has helped me enough for this race here. Once again, I was a uh, sprint outsider according to uh, the predictions here. So my te I had two teammates helping me. Uh, minus two in Daisy does give me a little bit of, de of a degrade to my stats, but it shouldn't matter too much, hopefully, at least. Phantom still here. 12 comes to go now, still in the front of the race. 70 riders remaining now. 
got dropped a back bit there. Let's see, come on. I, I'm really... Okay, into the last 25 kilometers now, actually crashed just before, I used quite a lot of energy you can see here, getting back again. But I'm here now, I'm going to try it and find Priest Views Wheel. The game says it's a phantom, but last race, of course, you saw I trusted the computer and it actually worked out for me because I ended up winning anyway. But it certainly wasn't because of them. So this time I'm going to, to trust my uh, intuition and go on the wheel of Priest View instead. Instead of going on uh, Phantom's wheel, who's over here, Phantom, who's according to the race the favorite. I don't know, am I on his wheel? I'm on the wheel of the guy. I just crashed again. Okay, yeah. At least I didn't crash much last year, so it's probably it's second time in the same race I'm crashing now. Oh, it would be nice now to just tell your riders go back and pull me back up, but it doesn't really matter anyway anymore. Actually, we have like a team trial team here. What is this? Is this the... What team is this from? TCQ, isn't it? Because last and this is Kolokvik, I think. Yeah, team Kolokvik. So, minus one day. If it wasn't probably not going to be my day anyway, but now it certainly isn't. Because now I'm two minutes after the front, the back of the race here. There was even more crashes here. And yeah, we're not going to get back up to the front here. So annoying that it has to happen like this, but... All I can really do now is just sprint for fun. Let's see if I can even... If I can... If, if by sprinting I can catch the back end of the Pelson. Wow, you lose so much time now. By, by crashing Team Treffer. Actually, we got second place. One of my teammates. He wasn't even a good sprinter, but he got second place. He was even protecting me all stage long, so that's really impressive by him. I think he got second place. Yeah, second place. That's the guy. He was protecting me for most of the race as well. And I got what? 107th place. Yeah, I sprinted a minute away from the rest of, of the group that crashed with me. Ah. Okay, so this was a pre actually a pretty interesting episode. We ended up winning a race and then crashing in the finale of the second one. But next time, what do we have on the schedule? Let's see. I don't know if I'll do this one here. We're not. Nah. Even though it's a chance for a win for me, I, I don't get anything from this. Any XP from this. 2.2. I haven't done a 2.2 yet, but I think I'll just do this French one here. It's. Apparently a lot of sprint days, so that could be good for me. Then we have uh, an under 23 race, we'll do this one as well, on one point. But the first under 23 race. And I think that will be it. Then we'll do skip all of this until the national championships and the tour of Denmark. And I think, yeah. So next time we will do this French race here, which is also the next, next one in the calendar anyway. So that fits perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did, even though it ended up being kind of a mess in the last stage, but it was still really fun. See you guys next time. Goodbye.